CBS This Morning became the first television program to broadcast live from the top of One World Trade Center back in May. That was fun, wasn't it, Charlie? It was yeah. a great day. Well, now take a look down below. In just hours, the next big step in moving the hallowed ground forward is also designed to get commuters moving. The new transportation hub is already facing some backlash. One former official in charge of the project calls it a symbol of excess. A New York Times critic describes it as a boondoggle. Others call it a lemon with the focus on dazzle over details. Well, Michelle Miller's there. She's outside this massive structure that's just across from the 9-11 Memorial in Lower Manhattan. Michelle, what say you? Good morning. Good morning. Well, 15 years ago, the area I'm standing in was just an empty pit. And the years since the 9-11 attacks have both been a painful and slow rebuilding process. The latest structure to go up, that train station behind me, has been both a feat in engineering and a lesson in expectations. It's called Oculus, 15,000 tons of steel reaching more than 25 stories tall. Famed architect Santiago Calatrava designed the hub to resemble a bird rising. Its archways will house 11 subway lines, and officials estimate 250,000 commuters every day. What first struck you about this design? Well, I really like the interior space the best, actually. Paul Goldberger is a contributing architecture critic for Vanity Fair. A democracy should be building important buildings for people. It's nice to arrive in the city in an exhilarating place that, that sort of gives you a lift. You know, I, I think those great moments are sort of like the exclamation points in the city. As much as places like this help downtown war back to life, it's not without its controversy. This structure is billions over budget and at least five years behind schedule. When the hub's design was first unveiled in 2004, officials estimated it would cost around $2 billion. But after rush design changes, water leaks, and Superstorm Sandy in 2012, the finished product will cost almost twice as much, coming in at $3.9 billion. The hub's governing body, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, called the project challenging, but added it will serve a vital transportation need for the region while becoming an important landmark. It was a very, very ambitious, difficult design. Yes, it cost a lot. Yes, probably it should have cost somewhat less. But in fact, exciting, innovative architecture is forever. Officials are hopeful this landmark will also prove to be an economic engine. Within these public atriums is over 200,000 square feet of potential retail space. This was a very successful mall before 9-11, um, and we have no doubt it's going to be a very successful shopping center. I mean, is that a feat in and of itself that this is finished? I think it's an extraordinary feat. You feel that now the life of the city has come back to this 16 acres again in a way that it hadn't been for a long time. This hub is only partially opening today. Several more corridors will be opening in later weeks. Uh, officials here didn't want a huge unveiling. And although the commuter paper has it as front page news, there will be a very small ribbon cutting later this afternoon. Soledad.